biggest thing that I realized playing basketball, and, and my first year of bodybuilding, I was still playing hoops on the weekends, and uh, I thought it was pretty cool, like walking in the gym, a little bit more muscular. But the, the biggest thing I, I learned was doing uh, front squats and doing uh, power cleans and hand cleans and even overhead squats. Um, just developing more explosiveness, and and for me it was it was perfect because being five nine going against some real tall guys, you got to be able to elevate. And I already had a good vertical. I, I was you know forty inch vertical, you know, so I had to make sure that I was more durable to go through people and be more powerful while doing that. I would also say doing some uh, shoulder work because I remember you know trying to head screens and stuff like that. I'm running into big guys all the time, trying to get over them, and and I knew that having those you know big shoulders, like if some guy, like if I was doing a move on you, I get a jab step and go rocker, and I go with my legs, and you go for the steal, you're hitting this big shoulder now, and I'm going to knock you down, I'm going to run you over. And then also I would make sure that you're you know getting some chest work in. Uh, the, the only other thing that I that I realized that when I first started out, you know, I was trying to do a little bit of both is I didn't do a lot of back work. Um, but I would say you definitely have to have a good, strong core. So doing some, maybe some type of CrossFit stuff, um, head hips, power cleans, making sure you uh, rush the head lift, uh, make sure your lower back is, is good, because you got to think in the defensive stance, you know, that lower back's going to get tight, you know, and your glutes are also going to have to make sure that they're in shape as well. So getting a lot of good stretching. Um, foam rolling really helps with that. Uh, also working through head flexors, making sure those are in shape, because as you start getting bigger, muscular-wise, you start getting more bound up. So that jump shot may go from here with extension to like here. So you gotta make sure that you know everything collectively stays in shape. And so always, always, always gotta do the, the static and dynamic stretching too. And just in terms of uh, reps and sets. Reps and sets, I would probably say for you, like, I mean, you can do like a typical eight to 12, but if I were you, I would focus more on like the five to eight repetitions because we're going for more power at the moment. You know, endurance training, Chest workout, just put chest pads up against a wall, you know what I mean? But to, for me, it was more about being more powerful. Uh, I always wanted to go through people. I wanted to be able to, you know, if I had to take a charge on a, you know, on a big 6'5 guy, I had to be able to, you know, do that and take it right in the chest, right? So I had to build that. So I would say, you know, five game repetitions would definitely help. And then you can always switch it up after four weeks and you can do that. And you can also, if you want to max out, I used to go through like, um, it was like a 12, it was a 12 set, like marathon, let's say for chest. You go like three reps, three reps, three reps, then one rep, max. Then you go three, 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 one, three, three, one, and then you keep going up, you know. And then eventually, every time you go up, then you go down, you want to make sure that the way that you're going for one, that next time, you're able to do three. 